Hello, I'm Raluca Baloyu, the manager of Carol Galleries, founded in 2015 in Bucharest, Romania, by Iulia Deme. I am the curator of the galleries where I organize exhibitions with artists from a Romanian diaspora, specifically exhibitions acting as 70s and 80s a revival of Romanian diaspora art. Also, another direction of the galleries is promoting the emerging artists who tackle unconventional environments in painting, sculpture, photography and new media, like the most recent exhibition. In our newest exhibition, Shaping Surfaces, sculpture, painting and objects together with space create an architecture of emotions. At Carol Galleries, the art of installation transfers the viewer to a zone of emotional architecture, a space which generates an utmost emotion, as Matthias Goris defined the term in his manifesto. Artists like Ionuț Barău, Andrei Bălan, Alin Carpen, Alexandru Micloș, Alexandru Papuc and Tudor Anțoș use memory as creative practice, either cultural, emotional, individual or collective memory. Through recovery of some coal fragments from the mill of Hassan, Alin Carpen brings to our attention the memory of a historical monument. Alexandru Papuc transfers the water's memory onto an industrial material. Andrei Bolan recovers historical figures that were victims of the communist system Tudor Antsoș reserves to cultural citation from the art history to recall the mind of Petrila. Ionuț Barău appeals to the protesting art in favor of the environment by displaying some idyllic landscapes, while Alexandru Miklos creates kinetic culture objects which find equivalence in Asian culture. The six artists transfer Talek Vale the vestige objects they recover from nature or from buildings they want to rescue from their immediate neighborhood or from oblivion. Thus, we witness the dissolution of the boundaries between art and life, as Alan Karpov argued. Alin Karpen uses the coal from the mill of Hassan as material and conceptual support in order to recover cultural space so that the medium he uses in his culture becomes a form of collective as well as individual memory. Similarly, Rosalind Krauss in her book Under the Blue Cup highlights the way the medium can be a form of recollection and the technical support is essential to the idea communicated by the work of art. Alin Carpen's works talk not only about a collective memory, but also a documentary one. Alin Carpen is making a confession through his culture, recovering the memory of the first team mill in Romania, built in 1853. Another work in which the medium is relevant as a form of memory through photography is entitled Memories, dated 2015. Lucrările mele folosesc foarte mult structura materialelor. La Mora lui Asan am folosit foarte mult cărbunele, ars în urma incendierii din 2012 și cu ajutorul lui am creat foarte multe lucrări. Cărbunele mi se pare un material foarte expresiv și vorbește de la sine despre o finalitate, despre o distrugere, despre ardere dar în același timp vorbește și despre o renaștere, cum ar fi pasăra Phoenix care renaște din cenușă. La cealaltă lucrare am folosit un material, un metal destul de masiv și l-am corodat cumva să arăt trecerea timpului, cumva să mă refer la că totul este trecător în lume, totul se corodează în timp, totul se, se distruge și viața devine ceva trecător la un moment dat și trebuie să realizăm acest lucru. Tudor Anțoș, who took a journey to the mine of Petrila, belongs 
to the same documentary area, he discovered their equipment packed up after the closing down in 2015. A fine observer, Tudor Antsos informs us about that equipment by means of his camera, speculating like Caravaggio, the angles in the shadow games on the cellophane surface. The artist connects each composition to a cultural citation from art history, getting subjects for his photography, such as Pieta. This artistic practice admits subjectivity, but also the objective impossibility to rephrase reality, the role held until recently by the historian in charge with depicting reality. The works of Andrei Bolan are situated in the area of documentary art. They show characters from the anti-communist resistance, such as Mircea Vulcănescu or Teodor and Visalon Shushman. Andrei Bolan is carving forms as his predecessors in the Renaissance did, like Michelangelo Bonarotti, for instance. His best mastering the figurative that he breaks up by finishing rugosity or insertion of various material fragments. In the same work, Andrei Bolan combines very different materials to wood, metal or plaster. He adds hemp, wax, nails, raisin. The precariousness of the materials used by Andrei Bolan signifies he is giving up corporality in favor of spirituality, the material thus becoming only a metaphor. The energy of shape is creating materiality, tactility and spatiality. I try to reconsider the, the language of uh, the human body. That the human body is a place. When I'm working uh, on the hermits, I'm thinking like they are large, like 100 meters, and like like they have elevators inside and stairs, and they are giants. And this type of uh, gigantic form in small shapes, it's one that I reach, and. Uh, this is the magical, for me, equilibrium between small parts that could transmit much more. The artist is the, the one that gives the uh, birth to poetry in man. The poetry is a phenomenon uh, that is in everybody. And it's, it's about what we reverberate, what we resonate, what kind of vibrations do we transmit. And I think the, the artist is the, uh, in, in his search, he's trying to give the answer to the question that uh, how it's all, why we, we are here, what is the purpose, what is the limit. The works of Alexandru Papuk are also directed at memory pattern. The sculpture object entitled Memory of Water being a good example for that. Alexandru Papuk is playing with theory and shape, introducing surprising elements and unusual materials. Alexandru Papuk is elevating the usual, utilitarian or commercial materials, relocating them onto his work, translating them into an untainted aesthetic realm, and hence releasing them from their initial role. The compositions of Alexandru Papuk, created by means of these materials, deny their initial functionality. Alexandru Papuk is directing genuine, in-situ sculptures using materials like thermoformed plastic or hips. Other times in his artistic practice, the sculpture takes terracotta as associate in order to create surprising materiality of the substance he is handling converting it into metal by means of glazing, as he does in his Chimeras and Chimeroids series of sculptures. For me, to create is a similar to a scuffling in a bezna, 
Imaginați-vă că ați intra într-un ocean de întuneric în care începeți să pipăiți și v-ați opri doar în momentul când dați peste ceva care poate fi recunoscibil, care seamănă sau va, va atinge un pic uh, memoria sau, hai să spunem altfel, se potrivește sufletului vostru. V-am creat o imagine cât de cât plastică în care vă puteți imagina uh, ce înseamnă pentru mine sau care este modul meu de a crea. Alexandru Miklos resorts to oriental cultural citations when creating his kinetic sculptures. The artist relates either to Japanese culture where he brings forward the way of caring for pets, kebukai mono, or the Chinese puppet show culture by such works as Red Four or Levitating Cat Theorem. Like an engineer, Alexandru Miklos creates kinetic sculpture objects, his works looking like pulsating organisms. In this artwork, the artist is illustrating the fixed point theorem formulated by the Dutch mathematician Jan Brouwer. The object sculptures of Alexandru Miklos have a certain kind of humor and, to some extent, they suggest fine ironies through the analogies he makes between the instinctive behavior of humans and the felines. In his works, Alexandru Miklos ironically depicts the maternal instinct, for example, the work entitled The Cat's Thief, the defense and uh, attack instinct, illustrated by Devil Sai and the sexual attraction read for Fluffy Thing. Hello, my name is Alexandru Miklos and I graduated in 2012 with an MFA in Graphics Department. With my words from the Fluffy series, I wish to transmit a primordial emotional perspective. I'm trying to rediscover how animals are composed and how they evolve genetically from a visual perspective. My words are some kind of veritas creatures, real but fake. Through my art, I wish to transpose the viewer into another space. My words communicate between the viewer at the sensorial level through movement, sound, and emotion. And my inspiration comes from nature, electronics, physics, experiments. As an artist, I assume many roles as a sculptor, painter, engineer, video editor, musician. I consider myself a realist that expresses himself in metaphors. My works are monotypically representing just one idea, one solution. And chromatically, I don't limit myself. I just use the best way to describe reality with addition of contrasting and decorative shapes and materials. In his work, Ionut Baro presents an idyllic landscape, a place for an environment without waste and unpolluted. He is painting on large scale and only brings his work in situ in order to protest against the ignoring behavior to the environment, illegal deforestation and pollution. On a 10-meter large canvas surface, Barrow is inserting here and there unfinished fragments of polyurethane foam, suggesting nature disintegration by humans. Just like a fresco on which time has left its print, the environment will disintegrate unless it is protected. The artist presents the harmful effects of human indifference to the environment through narrative elements. The artist is using a fauvist chromatic range in which human characters and vegetal elements are simplified and missing details reminding us of the French painter Paul Gauguin. Hi, I'm Baro Yunuz and I want to do things in my artwork, but for this I want to speak in my native language. Deja vă reprezintă legătura cu tot ce avem în jurul nostru, natura, spațiu și tot ce avem nevoie în zilele acestea. Am pierdut o legătură necesară cu noi și cu tot ce ne înconjoară. Atât spațiu vital în care trăim și am trăit din vremuri străvechi până astăzi. 
Următoarele lucruri vor conține atât elemente din natură, cât și din spațiu urban și interurban. Shaping Surfaces is an exhibition in which different materials coexist, from wood and metal to plastic, polyurethane, foam and artificial fur. The artist in the show resumed the discussion on the terms of Rosalind Krauss' culture in the expanded field, according to whom the artistic practice is supported by the material the object is made of. This way, each artist is shaping surfaces of artistic objects, which remind of Assens Mill, Alin Carpen, the mine of Petrila, Tudor Antos, the anti-communist resistance, Andrei Bolan, the environment, Ionuț Barău, the memory of water, Alexandru Papuc, and the oriental art, Alexandru Miklos. If you are wondering what we have done during this pandemic, we can tell you that we worked a lot on the online platform where you can check our current exhibition and also the past ones and the artists that we represent on the ArtC platform. Our next program includes focusing on Romanian artists from diaspora, like Ioan Jacob, who lives in Germany, and Doru Covrig, who lives in France. Because we are working with artists based in different countries, we adapted very fast to this period, and we improved our technical skills in order to promote our exhibitions and artists, which has always been our main goal.